Yo, I actually, I actually hate free agency with a very strong passion. I have to be on here recording videos all fucking day. Drop of a hat. I'm trying to eat something. I'm trying to have someone eat me. It just, boom. Drop of the hat. We out here making videos for you. I got to keep changing my shirt so it doesn't look like I'm a crazy person. Will Fuller signs with Miami Dolphins. One year deal. This is, this is pretty interesting. I would assume that Will Fuller would have commanded something more coming off the season that he had last year in Houston. A lot of dynamics to this, okay? Because Fitzpatrick no longer there. So we got Tua at quarterback. Tua played like straight shite last year. But there's hope, okay? Because Will Fuller's a great player. He's going to be going into this year. He's going to be going into this year with a one-game suspension, I believe. I think he served five games at the end of last year, one game going into this year. So he's going to miss the first game, which means they're signing him for 15 games. One-year deal. I'm not sure what the money was. It doesn't fucking matter. One-year deal. And the landing spot becomes interesting because, I mean, listen, there are targets up for grabs there. Devontae Parker has basically operated as a high-volume wide receiver, too, because no one else is getting targets there. Preston Williams got hurt. Mike Kosicki's whatever the fuck you want to say Mike Kosicki is. Um, I love this for the Miami Dolphins. Like, from a team standpoint, this is beautiful because, listen, you fill your needs in free agency. You go with value in the NFL draft. Needs, free agency, draft is for value. Now they don't need to take a wide receiver. I mean, I still think they should use some capital on a wide receiver at some point in the draft, but now they don't need to do it at three. They don't need to do it at 18. They don't need to take Devonta Smith all the way that early. Devonta Smith wouldn't put up. He wouldn't outproduce Will Fuller this year. So to get a one-year rental on Will Fuller, see where it goes from there, they got a lot of money. Maybe he stays healthy, maybe he proves himself, and they could re-sign him afterwards. But he's still relatively young. He's coming off a monster, monster year, 11 games. But if you pace it out to 16... His end of season numbers, 77 catches, 1,280 yards, 11.6 touchdowns. Insanity. Insanity for Will Fuller last year in Houston. A lot of things have changed. A lot of just pure insanity has gone on since since then in Houston. Okay. Sean Watson might be getting traded. Sean Watson might be. We won't get into that. Sean Watson. We have no idea. Where we, imagine now Deshaun Watson actually follows them, follows Will Fuller into Miami. That would break the fucking internet. That'd be a lot of fun. The fit becomes interesting because Will Fuller is obviously the speed guy, the long play guy, the down the field guy, which is like the opposite of Devontae Parker. Devontae Parker has developed into this possession receiver. And you look at Will Fuller last year, I mean, 16.6 yards per reception, pretty damn fucking good. Fourth in the NFL among all wide receivers with over 60 targets, second in yards per outrun on deep passes. So any targets down the field of 20 yards or more, second in terms of yards per outrun. On the other hand, you look at what Tua did last year in his rookie year. It was a shit rookie year. But there was just so much nonsense working against him and just working against his team in general. You know, he's coming off the really serious hip injury, obviously. You've got Ryan Fitzpatrick playing really well. He put the coaches and the team in a curious, precarious position. I don't even know if I use that word right. I don't even know if that's actually a fucking word at this point. My brain is all fucking modeled up and put in a blender. So I know I got to do like five more of these too. Tua. Played like a scared little girl last year. 10% of his throws were deep passes. 29th in the NFL. 8.9 yards per attempt on those deep passes, 35th in the NFL, 44.8 adjusted completion percentage on deep balls was 19th in the NFL. So he wasn't doing it at a high volume. He was not taking shots. And when he was, he was not good at it. That being said, I'm still good with Tua. I'm not knocking him top five, top six pick, whatever he was after one year, after seven games, after nine games, wherever he fucking played in last year. So you look back at what he was in college, man, like I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that this long offseason, getting to be the starter there, no questions asked, is, is going to do wonders for this kid, okay? He now, you know, you look back at what he did in college. You look back at what he did in college. His final year at Alabama, he had 40 deep ball attempts in 2019, 40. Not a single one of those was a turnover-worthy throw. He was one of the best deep ball throwers in college. I mean, that would obviously happen when you have Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs, Devonta Smith and Jalen Waddell. I mean, I'd hope you be top five in most of those categories, but point remains, he gets to play with NFL receivers once again. Now he gets Devonta Parker. Now he gets Will Fuller. And I, I think we'll see a different side of Tua. I think we'll see a lot of play action, deep passes. I think we will see Will Fuller high stepping into the end zone quite a few times in 2021 on a perfectly delivered dime drop pass into the bucket by Mr. Tua. Okay, so we look at the stocks of everybody involved. Tua, this is massive, right? Anytime you could add a speedster like this to the team, boom. You know, every once in a while, you add a little 60-yard cushion and a touchdown to the statistics, and we're looking 
gorgeous. So you'll love this if you're a Tua owner in Dynasty. Again, now they don't have to use DraftCat. The team, if you're a Miami Dolphins fan, I'm going fucking nuts right now. This is the best case scenario for what you could have done in free agency. Uh, Devontae Parker obviously stocks down because he was a volume guy. Now he's more of like, a, eh, I don't know, like a low-end wide receiver three that I'm not really excited to draft. And Will Fuller becomes like a problem. I, I, I'd i rather own Will Fuller. Well, I guess he's got the one game suspension. I'd probably rather take Will Fuller, though, over Devontae Parker next year because he gives you that league winning weekly upside, man. We love that shit. We, we love an ADR tug here, okay? Those are the guys we're looking for at the wide receiver position. Because at the end of the day, all of the wide receiver twos and threes are kind of muddled into like a one game, one point per game difference. They don't really make the difference. So give me the guy that can win me an individual week, okay? I don't want fucking stability at wide receiver three. Get that at wide receiver one. Get that in Devontae Adams. Get that at fucking Chris Scott, Mike Evans, whatever. Get the stability up front. Get the upside later in drafts. And that's where you're going to be getting a guy like fucking Will Fuller, seventh, eighth round in redraft leagues because he's got the suspension. In the Houston side of things, and I don't think anyone thought that Will Fuller was going to be resigning in Houston, but that does leave Brandon Cooks as the wide receiver one there. Who's throwing in the ball? We don't fucking know. If it's Deshaun Watson, this is a beautiful thing. We're going to get Brandon Cooks going for another 1,100, 1,200 yards. So I would say, all in all, stonks up for Brandon Cooks if you are a dynasty owner when it comes to this Will Fuller move. Love the move for Tua. Love the move for Miami. That's really it. I think I probably missed about seven things. But if you don't want to miss any more free agency, breaking news dropping Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following me on all the social medias. You know, at Nick underscore BDGE on Twitter. Just at Nick Ercolano on Instagram. It has nothing to fucking do with fantasy football, to be honest. Um, but that's my personal nonsense. So, thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'll probably see you in about 17 minutes. Peace. Love you.